We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. All the anti-mass spectrometers. But we needed the extra resolution. Good morning, survivors, and welcome back to Canada and the Long Dark. Wait a minute. This is not Canada. It's not the Long Dark, and it's probably not morning. Where are we? Uh, somebody pinch me. I believe I'm dreaming. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Black Mesa Transit Black System. Black Mesa Transit. Hi. This automated train is provided for the okay. security and convenience of the Last thing I remember is climbing into my bedroll on the cold floor of the Carter the Hydro Dam. Eight. After we feasted on Fluffy the Wolf, eight. remember? But then I saw all the buttons. Look, buttons. Hi. I had some serious feelings of deja vu remember i don't know i have a feeling of deja vu a very strong feeling of deja vu when i look at these buttons so many buttons this place reminds me of something i don't remember what exactly One. yeah this is a dream okay it's a dream look at the lab co did she say 105 de degrees oh definitely not get it all right it's a dream let's have some fun then if it's a dream, we can do anything we want, right? Anything we want and get away with it, let's be really silly and have some good times here at the Black Mesa Research Facility. Indeed, this is Black Mesa, which started out in life as a mod for Half-Life. Something like eight years ago or so, but it is now on Steam for $19.99. And there's a link down below in the description if you guys would like to purchase the game. It's a standalone game now. You don't need Half-Life for it to work. Hello! I don't like seeing these guys in lab coats fixing things. Lots of lab coats here. What are we researching anyway, fellas? I don't think they can hear me. It's too much glass. Oh, missiles! Okay. Weapons of mass destruction. I can dig it. Cool. So yeah, I have played Half-Life, guys, many, many, many moons ago. The game came out in, what, 1998 or something like that, right? So it's an old game, and I probably played it through ten, a dozen times or so since 1998. Oh, we're at the desert! How lovely. I thought she said something like 100 degrees. Ah, uh, see, I am literally sleeping right now in a bedroll in Canada on a cold floor. All right, it is nap time. So I'll see you all uh, in an hour or two. Nighty night, sweet dreams. Of material and this is my subconscious putting me in a desert where it's nice and warm and comfortable. But boy, it's it's going to hurt when I wake up and find myself back at the Carter Hydro Dam, huh? <laughs> we'll get back to the long dark, guys. I know some of you really enjoyed it. And we'll get back to that. But this is sort of a little detour. I wanted to do this transition into Black Mesa. I thought it'd be kind of fun. I just happened to see it pop up on Steam a few days ago. And into the mountains we go. The red rocks of New Mexico. 1998. Keep your limbs inside the train at all times. That is the year my daughter was born. And I remember diving into this game headfirst and just being blown away by the story and the cutscenes. The voice acting, tremendous. One of the first games, really, to have anything like that in that time. Oh, sure, I can do that. Now, that looks like a military helicopter, huh? So we must have military contracts. Yep. Making weapons for the military. Perfect. Now, a warning. This game, I do believe, is rated M. Or at least T, because there's uh, there's definitely some graphic violence. We're gonna shoot some aliens. We're gonna have to shoot some some enemy soldiers. There's some blood and a little bit of gore. Maybe some scary scenes. So if you're sensitive to those things, personally, or you don't want your kids to watch this, then make sure that they're not watching it. It's not that bad. And bear in mind, guys, that uh, this game is about 20 years old. So cut the old dog some slack on loading screens like that. I'll try to cut them out as best I can and splice it all together. But 
I'm sure they're not going to be completely undetectable. So we are Gordon Freeman, male, age 27. But only in body, right? Only in body. In mind, we're Pablo Punchwood. We do not have a PhD from MIT in theoretical physics. That's Gordon Freeman. We're just kind of in his body right now. This happens to Pablo Punchwood quite often. Pablo Punchwood, of course, is a mob henchman. Former, uh, well, he is an escapee, an ex-con. Escaped from, what, eight prisons now, right? Spent some time in the South Pacific. Is up in Canada recently. He has no experience in anomalous, uh, anomalous, anomalous materials handling or theoretical physics. So this should create some very funny scenarios. Immediate openings are available in the area. Very light role play here, guys. Material Nothing too serious. And low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the area uh, of theoretical physics. Nope. Biotechnology. You can't say that I do. Other Definitely not. I know some guys that can break some thumbs. If you need someone to pay up. You need someone to shoot down, I can certainly do that for you. Alright, this is a train ride. Or whatever the heck this thing is. It's going to take a little while. So, just hold on and we'll get inside and get into the action. But this is one of the most memorable experiences of this game. Certainly was talked about quite a bit back in the late 90s. Oh, we're going down into the Red Rock of New Mexico, folks. Down we go. Da oh, dear. Personnel. Doors closing. And this is bad. Are a requirement of continued employment oh, boy. In the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. No problem. Oh, if no. What happened here? To radioactive or Greeny, glowy stuff doesn't look good. Duties, uh, oh, that's an important looking fellow there in the blue coat. Work safe. <laughs> Work smart. It's the G-Man. We're going to bump into him again. Oh, dear. What happened here? Look, the door's locked. He's trying to get somebody to do something, please. Pressing all the wrong buttons. So many buttons in these research facilities. So fun to press them all. It's a dream, right? So we might as well. Let's have some fun with this, folks. Anything we want to do, it's a dream. No permanent damage. Okay, here he comes. Is this, um, is this Barney? That's not Barney. Deja vu. I'm just having feelings of deja vu is all. Morning, okay. Mr. Freeman. Okay, remember, we're, we're Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Yeah, good morning. I am Gordon Freeman, PhD, MIT, theoretical physics. How are you? You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around this part. Barney, there is a Barney. I knew there was a Barney here. Yes, yeah, Barney tell him I said hi, Pablo. I mean, <clears throat> um, Gordon Freeman says hello. Yeah, can I press that? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, me. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. I'll put Didn't some pep, as it is. pep in my step. All right, here we go. It's like a homecoming here. Oh, it's been so long. Hi, guy. I, I did? Yeah, I did. Sellout. I'm a sellout. You're right. Just let me in. I got work to do down in the anomalous materials laboratory. We'll press some buttons. See you later, man. What? Okay. And here we are. Hey, Mr. Freeman. Black. Hi. I had a bunch of messages. For you did. Me, but of we course. had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. And 20 I'm minutes still ago. Trying to find my files. You look for those files. It's one of those days, I guess. It's gonna be one of those days. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber too. But the test chamber. I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you've gotten to your hazard suit. I'll get my hazard suit on. I'll head right down to the test chamber. What kind of problems, though? Is it serious? What are you doing? Still running around up here. Thanks for the input. Hello, Dr. Freeman. Hello. Ooh. Just give me the googly eyes. All right, let's get going. We have things to do, but there's one thing I want to press. I do remember this. And oh, we've been waiting all morning. It's not, it's not a crouch toggle. What the hell is going on up there? That wasn't me. Scope was correct. It was the guy in the white coat. Let's go. Favorite on, thing to do. What are you to it wasn't me. Oh, morning, I love that Dr. joke. Freeman. Never gets old. And how come my sprint's not working? I'm holding down shift, but I'm not sprinting. How far can I throw a trash barrel? I think I can sprint once I get the suit on. Yes, about that. 
Oh, ah, okay. Then kind of boring. Let's go get our suit on. Oh, I think. would you look at that? Hi. Freeman actually did show up. Hi, I'm Gordon Freeman, PhD, Looks MIT, like here theoretical physics. I am not a mob henchman. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> <clears throat> nope. Shut up. <laughs> Ooh, that's not a nice word. Not a nice word. All right, let's get to work. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. It was. Of course it was. I'm gonna. I got some buttons to press first. See, this is how trouble starts. You start pressing buttons that you shouldn't press, but it's just so tempting and fun. Maybe later, Gordon. All right. All right, let's go get our suit on. I know you guys want to see the action, um, and we're going to do it. So let's follow the green. Wait, that's the way it came. Here we go. Follow the green brick road. All right, let's go over here, and there's our suit. Press the button and fetch it. Oh, fits like a glove. Oh, yeah. Mark 4 HEV. Systems coming online. Ooh. Dude, you want to dance? Check out my suit. I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring. Sorry, got to go. Oh, wait a minute. There's a... Uh, isn't there a thing here? Yeah. Yes. Charge it up. Oh, my gosh. That's it? Hey, can you get somebody to recharge the recharger? You Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. They're all a bunch of flakes in this place. Let's get to our test chamber. Now I can sprint. Test chamber. I think that's the blue line. Taking the blue line. Look how fast I can go in this thing. Woohoo! Hi. Right on through, sir. Thanks. Can I see that? How do you do that? Can I try? Looks like you're in the barrel today. I'm in the barrel. I'm in the barrel. Where's the barrel? Wow, this this runs so well. Gordon Freeman. Hi, I'm Gordon Freeman. Yes, that's me. Glad you recognize me. Oh, that must go down to the barrel. All right, let's go to the barrel, I guess. And here we go. Deeper into the facility. Not too crazy about that, I gotta tell ya. At least I have this hazardous suit on. Here we go. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Right? We're surrounded by brilliant scientists. I only have to press a few buttons. Heck, I have a PhD from MIT. What's up? Alright. Everybody's so focused here, which is really nice. Plasma cells, ionization chambers, test lab access. I think that's where I gotta go. Let's go to the test lab access. Oh, wow, this looks great. So there's a lot of new content here added with the Black Mesa mod. I'm not sure exactly. It's been so long since I played, I don't know what's new, what's old. Angles and make sure these super luminescent diodes are protected from mm -hmm. optical feedback. I completely agree. I would check the Spitzer valves while you're down there and the ball curious. bearings. It's all ball bearings. The Steel ball bearings. Are on the fritz again. Dang fools. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hey! Alright, this is not Stop the test chamber. asking that question. Can I play? If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Wait, malfunction what? Things could be much, much worse. I don't want to hear that. I'm going into the test chamber. This is not the words you want to hear, that things are malfunctioning and not working and could be worse. Oh, hello. Gordon. Hi. There Good morning. Nice sorry I'm late. Join us, I set up. We've just sent the sample mm. down to the I said, oh, sorry. We've what sample? The mass spectrometer to 105%. Oh, the atch mass the spectrometers. Gamble, but we needed the Good. resolution. <clears throat> I love the that thing. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. What? Together, he went to oh, wait, I think he's to talking to me. Hold on. What? They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. All right, let's go. Let's see. Can I put Eli that right on busy. his head? Headshot. Oh! For the new experiment. <laughs> what? Eli. Okay. I'll Greetings, follow you. Eli. That must be Eli. Hi, Eli. This morning finds you well. Gordon. Hi, Eli. Yeah, Good hi. Morning. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. They think we're Gordon. Last I love it. Minute changes. What? Last minute they're, changes. They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical. Guys, call somebody. Hold on. Oh, there's a circuit board came out. I got it. 
Oh, I, I listen. PhD, MIT. I got this. Equipment. Just let me in there. I can fix this. Oh, wow. Am I spinning too fast for you guys? Because it. I don't want anyone to get motion sickness. I'll try to slow down a little. Clean up. That doesn't look good, by the way, when things start blowing up. Whoop! There we go. All right, I gotta go to the test chamber. Hi, Freeman. Hi. Hello. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. <laughs> VHS. All right, 1998. All right, hombre. Uh, this is so is. fun. I love this job. I'm here. Afraid we'll be Gordon Freeman. Deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today. Gordon. Deviating. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for. As long as it's good reason, that's this fine. Is the I, that's fine. Sample we've seen yet. And I like pure. The most unstable. Oh, I don't like as long this. As we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be. Fine. Oh, absolutely, yes. Don't standard. Know how you can say that? Standard Although insertion pre that the procedures. Of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Oh, that's bad. I would I not know. Um, to hear all this. Come on, can we get on with this now? We've assured the administrator Highly trained professional. <laughs> Let me in already. You're right. I've got a job Morgan, to do. We have complete confidence in you. I'm sure you do. Good. Let me in. Go ahead. Let's let him in now. Okay, so I, I'm gonna go do the thing with the thing now. This is what your MIT PhD will get you right here. Whoa. All right. <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm in. Okay. So, let's do that thing. I'll go press buttons. I know there's a button right here that does something. Hi. Everything seems to be in order. I gotta go up the ladder. I remember these ladders. Okay, yeah, everything's oh, in order. Right, Gordon, there we go. Suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Okay. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. All right, here we go. Rotors start. Start the rotors. You guys hear me? This is when things start Very to get interesting. Good. What could possibly we'll go wrong, here. right? We are all professionals here. Power to stage one emitters in Very highly educated and highly trained. One. And I'm just gonna go down here now and get close. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Definitely predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Activate the stage two emitters, please. We cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. But okay. Work as quickly as you can. I will work as quickly as I can. Overhead capacitors to 105 percent. I hope they know what uh, they're doing. It's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance here. Sustaining sequence. Um, that's... Sounded like he was We've a little bit dubious. Righto. Here to comes the sample. For your okay. It's all coming back to me. This is this like definitely deja vu. Oh, there we go. All right, I just pushed that thing right in. This, this is what your MIT education Standard gets you right insertion. here. Standard insertion. Non -standard Standard specimen. specimen. There we go. What's the problem? Is this not... It's not normal? Shut it down. It's not shutting down. Oh, no. Oh! That, that's, that was supposed to happen. I don't think, was it? Oh, dear. Nope. This is what they call poop hitting the fan. Yeah, all right. Shut that down anytime now. Uh... Whew. Okay, I'm back. Now what? Uh. Hi. 
Gala Long Chao. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I just put the thing in the thing. It was just some goo and I. Ah! Oops. My bad. But it's okay. Nobody panic. This is all by design. I've been here before. I've done this. It's just a flashback or a dream. Don't worry about it. Under control. I'm a professional. Let's go. <laughs> Besides, this is where the fun begins, folks. All right, let's get moving. Let's get out of here before the whole place blows up. Oh, oh dear. Um, here, first aid kit. Use that, man. First aid kit. I'll go for help. Oh, oh, I didn't need to see that right there. Slow down, Pablo. I mean, Gordon. Pablo Freeman. All right, let's get out of here. Look at this. Look at all the scientists. Now, this is what happens when you meddle in unknown sciences. Whoops, let go. You get unforeseen consequences. Now, let's head on upstairs and see if we can't figure out what to do next. Because I'm perplexed. I'm just a mob henchman. Listen. I'm so happy to see you guys alive. Sorry about the flashlight. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade. No, me neither. It was insane. I was... It wasn't me, though. Hi. I'm alive. Gordon Freeman. Thank God for that hazard. Nice to see you, Benjamin. You too, Lawrence. Phones are out. Okay. What should I do? I'll get to the Let surface. Someone know that we're stranded down here. I'll get to the surface. No telling what kind of danger is. No telling. Whoa. My God. My gosh. What have, we done? what have you done? Fascinating. Fascinating. That's not fascinating. It's dangerous That's and scary and time. shouldn't be here. Don't get so close. The rest Larry. The team will Larry. Help you Larry, back up. Back up. Come on. God's sake. Keep what? That suit on until you're in the clear. Oh yeah, definitely. Yes. Thanks for the thanks for the reminder. Thanks, Doc. I'll catch up to you. You can count on me. I'll be back. Good man. Oh, buddy. Whoa! <gasps> this is the place. This is the. Hey, no! Get down, man! Get down! This is the room where I had the deja vu. I said get. Ah. <sighs> That's the room, right? Yeah. I knew I'd been here before. Uh-oh. What the heck is that sound? 